On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, home building is back. The message from realtors to builders is clear, if you build, we can sell. And Cincinnati's boom neighborhoods aren't limited to one location. They're scattered throughout the tri-estate from the city to the suburbs. Between 2011 and 2014, home construction permits in southwest Ohio and northern Kentucky increased more than 30 percent. The hot building areas include parts of Butler, Warren, and Claremont counties, the western edge of Hamilton County, and Cincinnati's urban core. There's, there's just a lot of new things happening in Liberty Township with the, the new uh, retail development that's going in there is fantastic. There's some growth in the hospital area. You know, it just drives demand for new housing in that area. So, and uh, there's still a good lot quality out there. People, it's a place people want to live. People want to live closer to, their, to where they work. They don't always necessarily want to have that commute. I think that's why you're seeing some growth in downtown city of Cincinnati marketplace. A healthy home building market means a healthy economy. According to the National Association of Home Builders, every new home creates three jobs. The Home Builders Group says the estimated one year impact of building 100 single family homes in a typical local area includes nearly $30 million in income, $3.6 million in taxes and other revenue for local governments, and 394 jobs. One of the most active commercial real estate investors in Greater Cincinnati purchased a large office portfolio for about $60 million, another sign that the region remains extremely attractive to buyers. A joint venture of Smith Halliman Partners and Harvard Management purchased a 730,000 square foot, five building suburban office portfolio in Deerfield Township from Duke Realty. That breaks down to a purchase price of about $82 per square foot. It's about 80% lease and tenants include Vantive, Mercy Health, GE Capital, Colgate Palmolive, and Verizon Wireless, among others.